Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Those blaming federal government over Kaduna, Abuja trained victims are unaware of government effort. Galba Shou speaks. Those blaming federal government over Kaduna Abuja train victims are unaware of government effort. Garba Shou speaks. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Malam Garibaldi Shewul on Friday said anyone who says the government is not doing anything about the release of the captured Kaduna Abuja train victims might be unaware of effort the government is making. Daily Post recalls that after the attack on Kaduna, Abuja train on March 15, 2022, bandits had demanded for the release of their comrades in various detention centers across this country before freeing the victims. But while speaking on Friday, during an interview with BBC Aousa Service, Shehu noted that the government has done all that the bandit leader and his foot soldiers demanded for them to release all the victims, but still hold on to them. According to him, the terrorist leader demanded the release of his wife, newly born twins and seven other children who were in prison custody, noting that the government complied with the demand so the abducted victims could be released. He said, initially, the gang leader demanded the release of his pregnant wife who was in jail. The government took her to a hospital where she gave birth to twins and informed him that his wife and the twins are in good health and later all three were freed. According to him, the bandit leader refused to free the victims. But he gave a fresh demand of releasing six or seven of his children from prison. Adding that not only did the government release them from jail, but sent a plane to fly them from Adamawa, where they were detained, and delivered them to the terrorists. He said after all the sacrifices, the bandit leader refused to release the victims. Instead, they asked for money. So you cannot say the government is doing nothing. The senior special assistant to President Mukwamadu Buhari on media and publicity, Malam Gerba Shehu, on Friday, said anyone who says the government is not doing anything about the release of the captured Kaduna Abuja train victims might be unaware of effort the government is making. Daily Post recalls that after the attack on Kaduna Abuja train on March 15, 2022, bandits had demanded for the release of their comrades in various detention centers across the, across the country before freeing the victims. But while speaking on Friday, 
During an interview with BBC Aousa Service, Shewu noted that the government has done all that the bandit leader and his foot soldiers demanded for them to release all the victims but still owed unto them. According to him, the terrorist leader demanded the release of his wife, newly born twins and seven other children, who were in prison custody, noting that the government complied with the demand so the abducted victims could be released. He said initially, the gang leader demanded the release of his pregnant wife who was in jail. The government took her to a hospital where she gave birth to twins and informed him that his wife and the twins are in good out and later all three were freed. According to him, the bandit leader refused to free the victims. But he gave a fresh demand of releasing six or seven of his children from prison. Adding that not only did the government release them from jail, but sent a plane to fly them from Adamawa, where they were detained and delivered them to the terrorists. He said after all the sacrifices, the bandit leader refused to release the victims. Instead, they asked for money, so you cannot say the government is doing nothing. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, to my dear listeners, don't you don't we all see that this is getting out of hand? Even terrorists have a space. Using, use, using, using the country's, using the country's plane to fly the terrorist wife and his children to meet them at the terrorist den, where, where, and most of the fact here is that, and what I want us to really take care of is that they said they have been communicating with this terrorist leader. On what, in which way have are, are these people communicating with the federal government? How is how is it that they are communicating with them? And they could not even apprehend them. Where did the federal government, I mean those people that flight um, his family, where did they drop his family? That he could actually see his family again. This country is getting out of hand and is not even making sense at all. So my dear listeners, please do drop by the comments.